happy our guys have gone international. Check it out. So welcome back to the Happy Hour guys and welcome to Tokyo, Japan, specifically the Shibuya district, which is kind of an entertainment, fun shopping district here in Tokyo. Very, very busy, very fun. We have a special treat for you tonight. We have a guest, a uh, man of some renown, Brian Harold, and you've been writing about craft beer here in Tokyo for about 20 years. Uh, almost 20 years, yeah. Wow. Okay. And uh, what what do we have on the docket tonight? You're gonna take us around a little pub crawl, is that right? Yeah, we're gonna start out at a really cheap standing bar. Uh, it's one of the cheapest places I know. Brian, tell us the name of this of this uh, stand-up bar again. Uh, it's called Fujiya Honten. Fujiya Honten. And truly, without Brian's help, we never would have found the place. A tiny little sign out on a side street, down a set of windy stairs, and then a fluorescent lit room that literally looked like someone's parents' basement. But the treasures we found there. So tell us the story behind the standing bar. What is this all about? Well, standing bars were originally started by liquor stores. And around uh, early evening, they would start putting out beer crates and planks and make little bars. By doing that, people would come in and buy stuff to drink at retail price and drink and then maybe buy some snacks and other things that they would sell at the liquor store. Usually canned fish or dried fish or these kind of things. So basically the hours in this place, it opens at between 5 and 5.30 and it closes around 8.30 p.m. They get everybody out of here about 9. But it's really just for what, coming in after work. Yeah. But this place separated from the liquor store many years ago. And as far as I know, this establishment has been open over 100 years. And you know you're in a really cheap bar in Tokyo when the good sake only costs 500 yen a serving. And here's a fun thing. When they pour the good sake, they always put a saucer or a basin of some kind underneath the cup. And then they overfill the cup to prove that you're getting a full serving. And even in this little basement standing bar, they really care about how the glass is presented. Oh no! Experience, that is for no, why did you change that up? Because it was uh, the on the way in? No, it was the glass was dirty. Hi. Can you get another another five hundred yen each from you guys? You got it. This is expensive. This is the most expensive socket. Alright, so it's it's cash on delivery here, so we need to they have an asset for money for this round. <laughs> So the next time you're in the Shibuya district in Tokyo and you're looking to make some new Japanese friends, just ask around for Fujiya Honten. Someone will show you the way. And you'll have a great time just like we did. Tell us a little bit about, about the sake that we're drinking now. This is an interesting story. This is a, um, it's a sake called Kanbai. It's a very uh, low price sake. But there is a rather famous high price sake called Koshino Kanbai. And the name is kind of similar, but it's not quite that. But it's still not bad. And, it's all right. Um, we enjoy it. <laughs> we enjoy it, but it's not Koshino Kanbai. Kanbai! Kanbai! I'll buy. I'll buy. Hook up the cameraman. Imagine a dive bar in the United States that has this level of first camaraderie. Definitely you have community camaraderie. Imagine a dive bar in the States that has this level of food and alcohol for the whole package. It's rare. Right? We're in a very, very special place right now. And that's what the Happy Air guys are all about. We bring this to you. You gotta pay the piper. <laughs> <laughs>